So we've gone Orange Line, we asked the lady Coastline Road, it's only 15 baht, so it's super cheap, but there's boats just like plowing up and down this thing. Have no idea what we're gonna get on though, literally no idea what this boat's gonna be like. This Thailand video series is sponsored by Wandergo, an app for travellers and digital nomads. Sharing the best destinations, useful tips, average living costs, co-working spaces and more. Check it out. Welcome to Thailand. It's so hot. It is so <laughs> hot. So we actually arrived just over 24 hours ago, but the flights were weird timing. So we were sort of jet lagged and took a day just to reset. And also, we don't really like to film on the days that we leave uh, New Zealand and our families because it can be quite sad and the, the last thing you want mm -hmm. is a camera in your face while there are tears potentially falling out of it. My face. <laughs> <laughs> so what did we get up to? Uh, yesterday we are just basically just trying to sort out life, the initial things that we need just to sort of survive for our time while we're in Thailand. So SIM cards? Yep, sorted SIM cards and uh, money and... Uh, P BT uh, BTS, BTS, BTS. <laughs> which is like the train system, probably the best metro -y type train system that they've got here, which is actually how we're going to try and get to Kosan Road, well that in a combination. So there is a way that I found which sounds way more fun than just jumping in a taxi, yeah. which is to take the BTS to this random place in the direction we've not been before, to a river. and then to a river, and then try and take a boat up the river. To, the to, to, to Koh San Road, yeah, and it'll be really curious to see what's happened now and we're going to try and be there for 6pm and try and see what happens. So this is... This is our Airbnb. Mm. I should be like, this is our Airbnb. <laughs> Pool and everything is really nice. We would normally show you the room, but it's... It's not... We don't want to recommend something that we think that other people aren't going to it's enjoy. A, it's or, a good way to put it. Yeah. The Wi Fi is not working, so already they're cut. <laughs> cut. <laughs> right, let's get on let's it. Go. Sure, a lot of people will ask. So, the cards that you use here, you can buy single single tickets, which cost about 30 to 40 baht for just a standard sort of shortish trip. Because we're staying for a reasonable amount of time, we've sort of we picked a place that's a little bit further out of town, which maybe we're regretting now that it's not so great. So we've bought a 15 single trip type pass thing, which was about 475 baht. And that means that we can maximize the length of our trips and probably save a decent amount of money. So 15 trips means probably like seven or eight, I suppose, um, out and back type trips. And oh, the cell phone, if anybody's curious about cell phones as well, because someone will ask, we just ended up going with D? DTAC? DTAC, and I think it was 500, uh, 500 baht, no, 700, 700 baht, but we get unlimited data, but it's restricted to only 10 megabytes per second, which is still pretty quick. <laughs> which is still pretty quick. That was bloody lucky. I almost uh, ended up on my ass there, which is because I was trying to talk to the camera. Lesson learned. So this is this is part of the BTS map anyway. It's not the full thing. There's, uh, I suppose it is actually these smaller ones you just can't really see. But when you look at them on a bigger map or on one of the applications that we use, you can see all of them. But um, yeah, you can see how vast it is. We're staying with this on on Nut as it reads to us on Nut as we've learned that it is. Ekamai is an area that we're going to go to. Um, I don't know, in a video soon I think we've heard that that's a, quite a unique like up and coming area that's a little bit sort of a hipster-ish if I can say that. Uh, so we're going to go from here over to Siam which is one of the busier areas. That's where a lot of the shopping malls and stuff are all around here. This is like a fancy crazy uh, quite a upmarket area. And then I think yeah then we're transferring over onto this line at Siam and we're going to come down here and go to Safan Taksin. I'm sure that's pronounced poorly, but I think this is the port basically that we go into this pier somewhere around here. So then we're going to go up, this is the river, we go up the river, up the, uh, the canal here, 
and just out from National Stadium, somewhere around here. Somewhere around here anyway is, uh, is Coast Sun Road. Pretty straightforward to figure out where we're going. There's loads of boats over there and everybody seems to be walking down these stairs. So we're following the crowd. It looks like it pointed, some sort of sign said, um, ferry services or something this way. So it looks like it should be pretty straightforward. All we know is we've been told don't get on a boat that has a yellow flag because that's the only one that doesn't go to the stop that we want to. spot first off but we think we found the right one now we saw the flags which gave it away we think this is probably the spot to buy the tickets but we're genuinely just winging it it looks like it. they've got flags and stuff down here although there's a sign there as well that says buy tickets orange flag orange was the winner just purely because it was the closest desk to us and it didn't seem as chaotic it's one of these places where it's like organized chaos if you know what you're doing people just like beeline casual as and the rest of us just sort of wander around seeing all these signs and some in thai some in english arrows going all, all over the places like these these um what do you call them like these ropes like cordoning people in and up and through alleyways and everything it's not like an airport where everything just makes perfect sense but it's kind of cool that you just have to walk around and ask people and just try and get someone to help you or just or stand off to the side and act confident and just try and wing it from there. So it's... <laughs> hope for the best. hope for the best, yeah. So we've gone Orange Line, we asked the lady Coast Island Road. It's only 15 baht, so it's super cheap, but there's boats just like plowing up and down this thing. Have no idea what we're going to get on though. Literally no idea what this boat's going to be like. A mixed bag, wasn't it? I feel like it's a really cool way to see Bangkok from a different perspective. Uh, but do be prepared for the river water to <laughs> be all up on you. <laughs> and it does get very busy. I was thinking that's like a once in a lifetime thing to do. And I don't mean by like um, hot air balloons and turkey kind of once in a lifetime thing. <laughs> Sorry. But more like a do it once and you don't need to do it again sort of thing. We'll definitely be catching a grab on the way back. I think we have to walk down there. If these gents know what's up, I think we go on that way. Down there. Someone getting their calves rubbed? <laughs> That's when you know you've made it. <laughs> I quite like, it's, it's a casual feel though, there's loads of vendors and stuff, but no, there's, no, there's not too much hustle. Nah, no, I don't need a suit man, thank I you though. You. Nah, I'm, a, I'm he good. Says the suit you. <laughs> oh my god, that's the best sales pitch <laughs> Alright, we've made our way back onto the street now. It is... Eight. Almost 8 o'clock. 9 minutes to 8. How would you review it? <laughs> 